All right, so here in this video, I'll be showing you how to download, install, and set up 7-Zip, which is a file archiver that not only allows you to extract .zip, .rar, .7z, but it also allows you to create your own archives in many different formats. And you can see all those supported formats on the 7-Zip page itself. So to start with the download, you're gonna to wanna to head to 7-zip.org, which will be linked down in the description below. And once you're on the page, you will see a download for 7-Zip version 19.0. You will also see two different Windows versions, that being 64-bit, also known as x64, and 32-bit, also known as x86. In order to know which version you need to download for your system, head on down to the Windows search bar and type in system information and you should see an application pop up for it. Just click on it to open it. And once here, you're gonna to wanna to look for system type, and that will let you know if you have an x86 or x64 based PC. So once you know your system type, just simply go ahead and close system information and download the version that aligns with your PC. So for me, that would be 64-bit. We can then download it by clicking on the download link on the far left column, and that should then prompt you to save it to your PC. If your browser prompts you whether or not you want to open or save as, be sure to click save as, and that will then ask you where you want to save it on your PC. I suggest selecting your downloads folder and clicking save. Once it has been downloaded, we can go ahead and open up our downloads folder, and there we will find the 7-zip setup executable. So in order to install it, all you have to do is double click on the executable, and this will give you a UAC prompt asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC, click yes, and then it will ask you where you want the destination folder to be. I suggest keeping this set to the default location. So go ahead and click install, and that will go through the installation process, and 7-zip version 19.0 is now installed. So we can go ahead and close the setup. And of course, feel free to delete the 7-zip setup file. So now that 7-zip is installed, you'll wanna ensure that the context menus for it are working so that you can actually use 7-zip efficiently. So to do so, all you wanna do is find any file on your PC. It doesn't have to be an archive. As long as it's not a shortcut, just simply right click on it. And now you should see a 7-zip context menu that allows you to open archive, extract files, and so on. If you don't see this context menu, 7-zip didn't enable it during the installation, so I'll show you how to do that now. So go ahead and go to the Windows search bar and type in 7-zip file manager, and you'll see the application show up. What you want to do is right click on it and choose run as administrator. This will give you another UAC prompt. Go ahead and click yes. And this will open up the actual application for 7-zip in administrator mode. Go ahead and click on the tools menu at the top left. Choose options. And from here, go to the 7-zip tab. Here you will see numerous checkboxes. You want to ensure that integrate 7-zip to shell context menu and integrate 7-zip to shell context menu 32-bit are enabled. These options will be grayed out if you did not launch 7-Zip in administrator mode. You can also be sure to check off any other boxes if they're unchecked as well, as you see on screen now. You can go ahead and copy my exact settings. Once you have enabled the context menu options, just simply click apply, OK, and you're good to go. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, got something out of it. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe during the good fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.